everyone, I'm Catherine Justina Sapolin, your beer mistress, and today we are trying this beer. Timmermans Strawberry. Remember last week when I was talking about the beer box set that I found at Deleuze? This is the reason why I got it. Let's open this up. Oh, wow, this, this smells like strawberry, holy crap. It's like, oh wow, I could just sniff this all day. Oh my goodness. And it, oh, it doesn't smell like candy strawberry. It smells like actual real strawberries. Holy crap. Here's the bottle cap. I have no idea why there's a mole on top of a barrel in the sea with what seems to be a mass of a ship, but I'm sure there's a great story behind this. I just don't know what it is. So if you know, tell me in the comments below. Wow, this smells delicious. Okay, let's pour this. I'm so excited about this beer, guys. I can't even. I don't think I've tried a strawberry lambic before, so this this is gonna be exciting because fruit lambics in Belgium, they're, they're so magical because I think when you think of beer, you will always think of your pills or your blondes, maybe you'll get some dark beers, but like I feel like the fruit beers are so underrepresented and they are so delicious. Okay, before I even start this, I would just like to say this is a 330 milliliter bottle. It's huge. Compare that to basically every other Lambic that I have that comes in this teeny tiny bottle. I'm genuinely surprised by this because I sort of assumed that Lambics always came in smaller bottles. So this has blown my mind. So if you know the reason why this came in a bigger bottle, maybe it's just so good you need more beer to be satisfied? I don't know, but I'd like to know in the comments below, so tell me. Oh my goodness, the aroma coming off of this is so fragrant with strawberries. And like I said, it doesn't smell like the candy strawberries, it smells like real strawberries. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, it smells so good. All right, so here's the color. There's not much going on in there. There isn't a lot of combination. It's, I guess you could say hazy because you can't see through it. It's a very pretty dark, we'll say strawberry color because it's strawberries. It smells delicious. I want to try this because it's the whole reason why I got the box set. I'm so excited. His own debt. Ooh. This does not taste what I expected. I thought it would be more sweet, but this has more of a sour note that comes off, and it's a very pleasant sour note. It's like, it's tart. And then the sweetness that comes is from the strawberries, and it ends on a this really pleasant strawberry aftertaste. Wow, this is delightful. Oh, there's even a slight little tiny bitter note that comes in the beginning before that sour tart taste came, comes over. This is delicious. Guys, this comes in at 4% ABV and I'm going to say that's a good thing. And the nice thing is, is since the alcohol content is lower than typical beers in Belgium, you could have a couple of these and you'd still be good. Like I'm not feeling the effects going to my head at all. This. This doesn't taste like alcohol, it has more of a, we'll say, fruit juice feel to it than beer. Which I guess depending on your point of view with that last comment is either really good or really bad. This is delightful. I'm actually not surprised at how much I love this beer because Timberman's is one of the Lambic families. And if you watched my video last year where I went to the Lambic Museum, they had one of the displays because Timberman's is one of the world's oldest Lambic breweries. So they know what they're doing because they've just been doing it forever. And they do have a whole bunch of different Lambic beers and I've wanted to try them for a really long time. And I'm not sure if it's because like the Lambic beers aren't brewed in West Flanders because they're brewed out in the, I think it's the Zena Valley that it's called, I can't remember. But they're sort of difficult to find. You can find the really big, big 
Lambic Brewers, but this is this is a smaller brewery. It's part of the Belgian family brewers, so it's an independently family-owned operation. Yeah, the only like downside that I see, and this is part of my own not understanding the intricacies of how Belgian breweries work, is that Timmermans in some way, shape, or form is like a subsidiary or they're owned by and I don't want to be quoted on this because I really genuinely do not know how it works but they're part of the John Martin's brewery and I knew that I had had something by this brewery and they are the ones that made the Bourgogne de Flanders which you'll be able to check it in the link below and I remember this beer being really good. So besides this beer and Timmermans, they have a whole catalog of other beers. You should check out their website. It's it's nice. I like it. You can browse it in English and French and Dutch and a whole bunch of languages because Belgians are multilingual. This is delicious. This is a beer for everyone. If you've never had beer and you want to start drinking beer and get your palate accustomed to the different tastes of beer, the way you're supposed to do it is by starting with Lambics because they are sweeter and you can sort of work your way up to then whites and blondes and then your darker beers. So this is really going to be something that is for everyone unless you're somebody that for whatever reason doesn't like sweet things or I don't know, maybe you don't like strawberries, but this is delicious. It's a dessert beer, so I personally think this would be the perfect beer to go with strawberry shortcake. I know it's cliche because it's strawberry, but this is such a, I wanna say it's like a festive, fun beer. It's just, it's, it's a summer beer, I think. I think this would be something really nice on a nice hot summer day. Maybe you've been working in the garden and you think, oh, it's, it's like hot, you know, because you don't live in Belgium because it's still cold right now. And you think, oh, I need something cool and refreshing, but also light that doesn't have a high IBV because I still need to work in the garden and I don't want to be tipsy. This is going to be the beer for you because it's delightful. It tastes like strawberries in summer and it has this very refreshing taste. It is sweet, but I don't think that the sweetness is overwhelming because I think it was a couple months ago that I tried the Schuf cherry beer and that was sweet, but this has more of a tart taste to it. So even if you don't like sweetness, I would still recommend this because the sweetness is so subtle and it comes off the end and it doesn't taste like sugar. The sweetness is the strawberry. So if you like fruit, you'll like this beer. And if you love tart things, you'll like this beer. Tastes old. This is like the saddest moment because there's no more beer left and that was delicious. Oh my goodness. If you've had this beer, I'd love to know your own reviews in the comments below and that's what I have for you guys this week and I'll see you guys in the next one. Tote scenes, may apple zines. So stateside, I think you guys changed the hour a couple weeks ago or something because I swear for the longest time, my mom and I have had a difference of five hours. But Sunday, the day I'm shooting this video, is the day that we finally changed the hour. And I'm really disappointed essentially because I woke up and I was so happy because I woke up at seven and I thought, oh, I'm actually up at a decent hour. I'm going to get so much crap done today. And then I realized, no, it was actually eight. And it's like, ugh.